College basketball has this new kind of culture that's emerged the last five to seven years, the one and done culture. And the fact is whatever complaints people might have about it, the best players are falling into this category. They're now forced to go to college for at least a year. So if you don't get these guys, it is hard to compete at a high level. And if I'm not mistaken, you've only had one freshman leave early for the NBA, which was Zach Randolph. Mm -hmm. I know you're very close on Jabari Parker. You didn't get mm -hmm. him. So I'm looking at your current team. You're the older team. You know, you're the one with the seniors who want to make sure they're not the first group to be here all four years and not make it to the Final Four. Has it been by design that you've resisted embracing that one and done culture? Is it a matter of not, not getting the guys that you want? And how much of a problem well, it, is that? I mean, it's both. I mean, uh, you want these guys, no doubt. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, anybody that says they don't, I think is crazy, you know. But, but there are two ways to skin a cat. I mean, I'm not sure I could do what John's doing at Kentucky either. Because I love the relationships. And I don't think eight months, nine months, you can do that. Um, I like watching guys grow, but I, but I would like the superstar player. You know, if you can melt it in together, it's probably the ultimate to have. But at the same time, I, I do worry a little bit because we're getting so fixated on that. There's a lot of good players that are sophomores, juniors, and seniors that mature a little later or come on a little better. And, you know, the NBA is a great example. The number of high school McDonald's All-Americas that end up in the NBA drops every year. You know, there's less of them. So it's not what you are at 18. And I thought some NBA guys said some good things as I'm trying to advise Adrian Payne or Gary Harris what to do, you know. So many kids are just coming out, and we all talk about them. You do in the media. We do as coaches. We don't talk very often about the kids that don't make it. We talk about LeBron and Kobe and this guy and that guy, but we forget the guys that don't make it. We forget the Shane Battiers, who are, you know, Tim Duncans. Um, I feel bad for the kids. That's who I feel the worst for of all this. And they're going to, you know, your, your, your viewers, your listeners, you, you're all going to say, well, the coaches are out for themselves. Michigan State's not going anywhere. Duke's not going anywhere. Kentucky's not going anywhere. I mean, coaches, yeah, you know, you can get fired, but you do your job, you're going to keep your job. And it's the kids that... Because everybody's in their ear everybody's and everyone's in their on, their, ear on their phone and, and right. tweeting and texting. And how many don't make it? I mean, there's 70-some kids that came out early. There's only 30 first-round picks and a few in the second round. Somebody's getting sold a bill of goods, you know. And, and, uh, and how many make it? As, as NBA guys said to me, do those guys want a cup of coffee in the league or do they want a career? And, you know, I think you want a career in the league. And then the last one that I still think is most, Mariucci and I both made a lot of money. We've uh, both done some things that most people from the UP, you know, we're at Final Fours or he's one game from the Super Bowl and you're coaching a Brett Favre or you get to coach a Richardson or Randolph or Cleves, you know, different things. But whenever we talk, we'd say, uh, boy, all the money we got and all this, wouldn't you like to go back to college? You know, I mean, wouldn't you like to go back to college? Yes. I mean, and, and these poor guys don't get to. And it's like if you it. stay, somehow, well, if you're a senior or a junior or a sophomore, it's almost like on some level you've failed. No question. You haven't been able That's to. That's the sad part for me. Because I don't even think the guys that stay another year, then they maybe they could have come out as freshmen or could have come out as sophomores. They stayed other sophomores or juniors. It's almost like, are they having any fun? Are they worried about every shot that somebody's watching? They're putting them down in the scale, up in the scale. And half the people rating them aren't NBA people. They're just people out on the streets, you know. And and with Twitter and everything now, boy, it's, it's full blown. To, you don't even need to be on the street. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to do anything.